Yek back to Factorio. No, no, welcome back to Factorio. <laughs> that, that came out wrong. Um, by the blessing of the tentacles, I have been joined by uh, the um, octopod-ish looking like -y Catherine of Sky. I look like an octopod? Are you serious? I only look like a, a tetrapod or a, a quadrupod. Yeah, quadrupod. Def Quadru quadruped? Def de definitely octopod. Oh dear. Oh dear. So how how are you uh, treating your uh, <laughs> appendages <laughs> lately? They're fine. They're doing well. See, these appendages are making some lovely, lovely bots for us. I love this. This is so good. Nanobots. Hooray. Excellent. Um, excellent. So what I just did while uh, Caledron was doing his uh, intro, uh, that was very interesting, is um, I... What, what we need to do is funnel the resources toward the bottom line. And so that's what I've done is I've set a priority, output priority to the right, so that once this whole green circuit array gets running and we're using all the green circuits, it's going to eat iron like crazy. So I'm putting more into the first line so that this gets some, and then so eventually the nanobots get some as well. Um, I think my first task today is going to set up some more stuff on the to-do list. So What to-do list? Huh? It's Oh, no. Well, no. The things that we need to do on our quest log. I'm sorry. I, Thank I, you. <laughs> that's horrible. Heretic. Quests we need to go on. So first thing I'm going to do is make them all. And then we need to automate science. And then finish the smelting lines. Caledron looks like he's volunteered to undertake that task. Um set up the radars we need to finish well ish i don't that can probably be deleted we'll just say okay for this since we're good uh stone bricks i think caladorn might volunteer for that if we ask him nicely and per and uh and uh entice him with some nice piece of loot or something from our coffers um after that we need to have let's see lines for stone and coal on the bus okay that's one thing we definitely need because military science is coming up. So we'll say that. Um, new quest, military science. And the reason I'm putting these things on the screen, by the way, is that so you can hopefully plan your factory along the same uh, lines as well. So then we need blue science. And that, well, actually before blue science, I believe blue science requires red circuits. So we need those. Um, yep. And we might need plastic as well. Wait, let me just check what blue science requires because some of the recipes have gone undergone a significant change over time. So let's see if we search for science here. Okay, blue science. All right, to make blue science, we need sulfur and advanced circuits. So we need those red circuits and we need to make sulfur. So that means we need to start getting some oil. So I guess we're going to have a new quest to get oil. Okay, keep this one. And do, we that need, goes, hmm? do we We need the tech to see the oil wells, don't we? No. That's why we okay, need so radars. <laughs> so right. we can find some oil. <laughs> yeah, so we are going to... One of the things we should do is take... You know what? I'll put that back on our list here. Radars, new quest radars so uh it's it's kind of good if you spread out the radars because they they have a limited distance that they can scan and you can see they kind of scan in a square around um but they have to be far enough out to scan so we'll go and place some radars out into the wilderness uh, at some point but for now i'm going to be making them all uh oh yeah after that we need blue science so this is what's coming up in the next little while. Not all in one episode, I don't think, but uh, you never can tell. We could be really quick. <laughs> so Well, <I'm... laughs> I don't think so, but... <laughs> all right, I'm gonna look for uh, the mall. Let's see. You're gonna look for the mall? Yeah, it's, um, it's, yeah, it's interesting. Okay, we have the early game mall over here. Perfect, so this is a game, did the you, mall that I designed for. Did, did the mall hide somewhere? Yes, it was hi I haven't accessed my blueprints for a while. It's it's kind of funny the way things have gone. I mean, recently. Whoopsies, can I walk? No, I can't. There's a rock there. <clears throat> anyway. <laughs> Sorry. 
Um, yeah, we want to align these things. Yeah, ish, like there. I think, oh, I forgot to leave room for a pathway. I always forget something. Either I forget the oil stuff or I forget the pathway. Okay, I'm going to keep myself over here uh, in hopes that the nanobots will stop constructing things that are way too advanced. So you can get this, this blueprint from my Google Drive. It's linked in the description below. Uh, and it's designed so that the first things you need are closest to the entry of the mall, which is closest to the bus. And then the more advanced stuff is down here. And some of it, you may not even be able to see the icons because it's too advanced. Um, but hopefully we're going to get good stuff. Like we're going to get pipes and inserters made and belts and things like that as the first things that the mall is going to make for us. And nanobot. This is, this is why you want nanobots, like really want the nanobots. Um, I will say, however, that nanobots, um, any mods do um, impede your achievement progress on Steam. So if you're looking for achievements, don't don't use any uh, any mods until you get what you want. Okay, this is looking really great. I just need to handcraft like a madman here. Or, yeah, madwoman, somebody like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, and we forgot the gears. Oh dear. It's fine, though. Hey, I don't think... include me in what you forget. Yeah, you know what? I think I, w I think we want to make gears on the bus. We'll just do that. We'll add gears somewhere. Not Ethan. Yeah, go away. Um, new quest. Do... Let's see. Make gears. Okay, keep this. And we'll put this above quite a few things. There we go. Probably there. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, and now we really need a mountain of inserters. So, do we have the... Oh, we have one of the inserter happy happy thingy-majingies right here. Oh my goodness. Yes. Alright, so I'm going to take off the nanobots right now, and we're going to make inserters. And the reason it's going to make me happy since I've been handcrafting probably six or seven hundred of them so far. Yes, yes, very good. We need to, we will make you very, very happy very shortly. Okay, so we go here, put these here. Yeah, this mole is designed with. Oh no, I have no splitters. Oh no, God, they put down too much stuff. You have to be careful with your nanobots over here, they get very eager. Oh my God, we have four lines of iron. Oh my gosh, Caledorn has been busy. Nice. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. I'm staying away from the mall, though. <laughs> yes. That's a good Not idea. Not going anywhere near that. No, no, no. So that's what I... That's one of the, the drawbacks of using nanobots, is you have to carefully control them, or they'll put down everything. Um. So yeah, we need to definitely just be very careful about what we're doing here. Let me just grab some of these and grab this uh, iron here. And then get, we need some splittery dues as well to get these things going. And we do need those darn gears. Drat. Okay. So we're going to have to get those going. All right. Let me just, I'm going to put down some of the crucial pieces here. Make some iron chests. I like using iron chests in the mall because they're we don't need the capacity for anything else and they can also always be recycled into train stations. Okay, these go here. Okay, looking really good. Um I do need to build a gear assembly though. That's kinda critical. So these go this way and that way, and this goes this way. Okay. All right, good, good, good. So, <clears throat> I guess this is the the tricky part. Um, so what we have here at the top, if you're not familiar with this, these are constant combinators, and they show a product, but they only show the product if, in your settings, you have it turned on here in Alt mode. So if you have Show Combinator Settings in Alt mode, it'll show you. Otherwise, if you turn it off, let me just show you. Turn it off. They uh they turn off completely and the mall is like oh my god what do you put there <laughs> so so always keep that on it's good stuff 
And uh, I've made this mall so that it doesn't matter which side of the belt you put these things on. But this is half of a belt of this and half a belt. Half belt green, half belt red. And the same with the others. Okay, we should be able to do stuff shortly. Um, let's get this. Oh my god. You should so be able to do stuff shortly. <clears throat> I like this. I think the um the lines for for green circuits, I think we should put those as gear lines instead. Um yeah, I think so. Instead of having them as we talked about to be the uh whatchamacallit stuff. The um the stone lines and stuff. You see, that's why I uh I, I don't trust these planning things because uh, it has a tendency <laughs> to change very quickly. No, 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 no. It's Fif not changing. Huh? It's fine. What? 15 minutes ago, <laughs> there was supposed to be that. Now there are supposed to be gears instead. So, yes, well, no, no need for long term planning. That's it's hey, fine. Hey, <laughs> it's true. Well, it's fine. It, it'll it be fine. It's actually, it's a good thing because we can put those above the current bus. Like here, we can have the the other stuffs like right there yeah that's fine I, I like how she says like here and i have no idea what she's <laughs> oh, pointing at right here okay fine so here look there's a okay so control alt woo and you can click I'm on gonna... this in chat yeah. it's control alt and point and left click yeah there and so caladorn can left click on that it's a big x mark thank you very much so i can click on these and thank you very much. I appreciate all the bullseyes. Thank you for directing those at me and not the biters. Um, yes. <clears throat> oh, it's for it's for the biters, my friends. Thank you very much. Yes, I really appreciate that. Mm -hmm. I know. <sighs> sigh. The sigh is real. All right. I'm going to make a line here for gears. Uh, and then we're going to start this over here. I like to have a consistent starting spot for all the machines at least below this point. The mall is a little bit further below because of all these belts here, but we want to have space for those pipes to go through. Uh, okay, gears. Here we go. Ah, uh, and we need several of these. We'll do them in twos, I think. Um, if we have the fast inserters, that will work pretty well. Alright. Let's make these regular inserters. And then we'll just have them work like that. Oh, oh, players in the way. No. Okay. Again, shift right click dig, to copy. Dig, dig. <laughs> shift left click to paste. <laughs> really? What are you digging? Stone. Oh, why? Because I'm a dwarf. You're not a dwarf. Not last time I checked. Mm -mm. You're not going to give me hey. any of that. Do you really want to be a dwarf? When I'm digging, I'm a dwarf. Oh, okay. Well, as long as you're happy being a dwarf, I am not going to stand in your way. I mean, you know, it's cool. Dwarfing is cool. Okay, so let's go ahead and connect this, this here. Ah, uh, there we go. All right, there we go. Now we have our first set of gears. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend these lines to the edge of the machines. And the reason I'm doing that is to make a repeatable blueprint. So we can copy this entire section here and we won't be short on belts. So we can just do this and have another set there. And let our nanobots build. Hey, I just did my first successful copy and paste. Yay. Woohoo. <laughs> What did you build? Belts. Oh, yay. Nice. Oh, that's great. Okay. So now we're having gears. This is great. Um, now we're not having much iron. So we need to get this funneled into here. Probably. Output priority. Oh, no, no. Not that way. To the right, please. There we go. Okay. So that one becomes full. I wonder if we should do a full belt here. Uh, we might we might actually run out of iron if we do that. So we're going to leave these. We're going to probably optimize the factory later. But for now, we can leave it as it is. No, oh, oh no, I ran out of splittery dues again. No, get back here. <clears throat> Let's go here, here. And then again, we're just going to copy this. And then 
paste, paste, paste. And then, yeah, good. Very good. Now, we can do these lines every single time, but I don't think it's strictly necessary. Uh, especially not at the beginning of the game when resources are very limited. So, I'm going to copy this piece like this. And then we're going to drag these along. And then our nanobots should... Oopsies. Shift click to delete random detritus on the ground. Um, hmm? No, just that I've recently played Detroit Become Human and it sounded like you said something about Detroit and us. <laughs> Detroit and us. No, no, we're not going to Detroit today. Uh, that's for later. Just saying. Good. Okay, good. Yes, I'm glad we're all in agreement of this on this. I'm just going to help the nanobots real quick here with this project because they seem to be quite slow. I'm going to help the nanobots. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm sure they are, they're probably going to appreciate that a great deal. They probably don't care. <laughs> they're, just, they're just bots. Oh no, and they've I've run out of them. Oh dear. Rough times. Yeah, the thing with nanobots is they're definitely consumable, so you have to be careful not to run out of them. Okay, life is getting better. Let's get some more nanobots. Yay. Oh my god, over a hundred. Hooray. Um, all right, but I'm not going to use them. I'm going to put them in my pocket so Caladorn can't see them. <clears throat> and he'll be like, where are all the nanobots? Yeah. I, I have plenty of them myself. I'm. I'm oh, excellent. I'm so glad. I'm glad that the factory is working. Hooray. All right, so because we have such small amount of gear production, we're going to have to share between these things. So I'm going to get... First one is belts. That's highly, highly important. Let's get these in here. And the chest. Yes, there we go. Um, so, where do you want this coal belt? Um, now that everything has changed. You see these four belts here? That's the next area of... So which, which one of them do you want is coal? Any one of them. It doesn't matter. I usually like the stone and stone bricks to be together. So you can put that on... I don't even care if you put it in the middle. It doesn't matter. It really That's is cool. not important. Okay, great. That's perfect. Okay, so let's get our uh, power here. Gotta have power going. Oh my god, we're getting belts here. Woohoo! Okay, life is better. Life is clearly better. Now then, we need... Let's see. This one is fed from this line. Yes, no? No, yes? Oh, this one doesn't need gears. Whoa. Wow. That's like... Hmm. Next level skills right there. Um, so the easiest way to break off from a center belt is to do one square, two squares, and then insert the splitter right there like that. It's just a simple little split off there. And uh, these guys are going to flow down into here. <laughs> and uh, we're going to be getting some stuff soon. I know you're going to be excited about this. Because the stuff Ooh. we're going to get is inserters. You. Do you want inserters? I was thinking you would. Um, I keep I keep uh, handcrafting them. So. <laughs> okay, so for this one, we want a half a belt of each. So we want to make sure and put the other half over here. So it doesn't, we don't have to clean it up later. It's a mess to clean up. So we're just going to have a half going this way. And this is going to go right toward the inserters over here. And that's when life gets really much, much better. Um, there we go. And that one can be made into fast inserters as well. Now these should retain the, um, the locking of the chest. You can change the amount of stacks by clicking this X and dragging to whatever area you want um, and then you'll get them i think we're going to increase this since this is a multiplayer game let's do this like that and then fast inserters also to have four of course we could just copy and paste that setting too now then we have this what are we missing oh the iron oh no we're missing an undergroundy how sad oh <laughs> oh and we need the, the the pipes as well under under pipes yeah Okay, so that goes there. This goes there. Uh, oh, no, I ran out. No, I need under... I mean, a fast, faster inserteries. Oh, jeez. Now everything ends in a Y or an IE. <laughs> yes. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, next, sure. next thing you're going to corrupt <laughs> is Yik. 
<laughs> do it yucky. <laughs> say yucky. Well, you know, if if it's yucky, it's yucky. What can I say? <laughs> See? <laughs> Told you so. Yeah, well, that happens. When you invent words, you have to be prepared for them to be corrupted properly. So, yes. All right, I am going to extend this one more line here to like this way. Um, let's see, small electric pole, that's fine. We need this. We need, oh, there's a big rock here. I should have the nanobots take care of it, but I'm going to do it. Now, one thing you'll be pleased to note is that the hand like placement distance is much further than it used to be. I don't know if you noticed that or not. The, the, the what now? You can reach farther. Oh, yes, I've noticed that. Isn't that cool? I love that feature. The devs increased it just a tiny bit, but it's just enough. Okay, so this... Oh, this is a filter inserter. It's purple. And it only picks up the items <laughs> that you allow it... Stop laughing at me. I'm trying to help people here. Um, it only picks up the items that you allow it to. So it has this five filter slots. Uh, later, you can get stack inserters or stack filters, which only allow one Thing, but it picks up a whole bunch of one thing. So that's a great thing. Uh, okay, so let's put this here. We're going to get these guys here. All right, and this wants iron. So let's let this have some. It's tasty nice. It's like hungering for iron. There we go. There we go. Okay, so we have underflowies. We have regular pipes. We have inserters. Oh my god. Look at them all move in unison. Ha! Ah, so exciting. <laughs> Sorry. I might be slightly excited about this event. <clears throat> it's fine. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's put this one in here. You're not saying anything. You should help me out right now. Because I'm getting too excited I'm, about this. I I'm busy letting you being excited <laughs> while I do uh, work. Well, you do real stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, we do need to have these splittery dews made. Oh my gosh, we have we're we're we've been suffering vastly without them. So let's get another line here connecting. Again, it's a double line. So we'll put in this thing, and again, put in your opposite side before you put in the middle bit. Otherwise, it'll go on both sides, and it'll be a pain in the socks to clean up. Oh, the factory's working. Isn't this exciting? Oh, I feel like running around with joy. It's so good. Oh, nice. Oh, oh, and now the next thing we're going to need is assembling machines. Yes, definitely need lots of assembling machines. All right, so they're going to be built here. Um, we need circuits for those. So let's get this connected. There we go. Oh, nice. Oh, and miners. We can build miners as well. Uh -huh. I, I'm building miners for you. Oh. We need gears, though. That's gonna be... I like that you specify that you're building them for me, because you're not gonna... <laughs> you like mining! I, I, I'm not gonna interfere with your mining proclivities. I know you have a thing for being a dwarf now. So, yeah. That's a thing, dig, apparently. Dig, dig, dig. <laughs> Do you know the digging song? <laughs> I don't remember it, but it, that's the one that I'm... Uh... <laughs> Referring to, yes. Nice. Okay. So, um, let's see. We are now building assembling machines. So this is going to make my... Uh, yeah, well, actually, we just need one stack. It's fine. Uh, make the nanobots quite happy about the entire situation here. This is going to be great for them. They, they, they feel this keenly. You can tell. They're really excited about this. Undergroundies, hooray. I thought you said that the nanobots didn't feel anything. Did I? Oh, I was mistaken yeah. in that case. Yeah. Well, I was mistaken. Because I think they get ex They must get excited. Don't you think they would get excited? I think they would. Aha, uh -huh, so they will feel excitement, but they will not feel disappointment. This is interesting. What were they disappointed over again? Maybe I was wrong. I don't know. It was some something earlier. I don't remember exactly what it was, uh, though. Okay. Well, there you go. Oh, nice. Oh, that looks fabulous. Holy fuzzy cats, that's great. Woohoo! Haha, <laughs> this is good. I'm so excited about this. We have we have things flowing in all the places. Oh, we even have a place for this to come in. Uh yep. 
come up a min. <laughs> yeah, come up a min. It's a new, um, yeah, a new version of language which nobody come has ever heard. Come up a min, 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 min. Hey. <laughs> yeah, kind of like that. Um, what is this lacking? Hello. It's lacking iron plates. No. Okay, there you go. There you have an inserter. You should not complain anymore. Stop complaining. It's not right. Okay, and I'm going to get... <laughs> oh my god, I have 200 fast inserters. <laughs> I'll put them back in the box so you can have some. <laughs> that's so exciting. I'm, to get like I'm millions of an... them. Huh? Oh, that, that's a... I'm going to, to go on an exploring thing. Have Ooh. they removed the oil thing from the beginning? I thought you always had some oil patches near the starting area. Yeah, that's the thing is they put them further out. So... Um, they're supposed to be found by exploration. Same with uranium. So yeah, that was a that was a thing that was changed. Um, I think I can use a mana box. Oh, mana box. I have met some more friends of mine. Arr. All right, there we go. Hello. Do you have a moment to talk about the way of the tentacle, please? <laughs> the way of the tentacle. Oh, you found the uranium. Howdy. Hello. Stuff and stuff. Uh, they were not receptive. Oh. No, they That's generally were very <laughs> unconcerned. <laughs> unconcerned. Okay, so this is going to be stone and stone oh. bricks. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, what hey, did you, find? you guys. Do you have uh, some time to spare to talk about the way of the tentacle? <laughs> You're just proselytizing you over oh, this. Excellent. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Well, you see, the way of the tentacle is... Uh, oh, you don't have to listen anyways. Okay, I'll, I'll go then. Bye. Uh-huh. Yeah. Interesting. Oh, whoops. I need to go get more splittery dues. Now that we have splittery dues made, I no longer need to go and make them myself no more hand crafting life is clearly better now um okay so this is going to be a funny little arrangement here um we need to do something like i found a lake that looks like the head of an alien from the alien movies a lake that looks like no. the head of an alien yeah no it does. yes it does look like the head of an alien there we go does seems a bit big yeah i'm just talking about the northern lagoon there the northern lagoon it's it's alien lagoon i see do you want to write that down are those alien nah. biters there because there's a tiny biter colony that you didn't bother speaking to i've noticed yeah you're ignoring them i can tell i can't get over to them i don't have landfill I don't think we want so, to landfill. I think they 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 value their privacy. I don't know. Like well, when we get landfill, reasonable. I'm going to get out and go out there and proselytize. So that's that's an important part of my uh, mission here. Uh huh. The programming, you mean? What programming? Huh? What are yeah. you talking about? <laughs> yes. Right. <laughs> we have inserters now, by the way. We have many inserters. We have all the yeah, inserters that we... I don't, I don't think that I'm going to be needing inserters out here. But no? uh, that's well, nice. I'm that was kind of an invitation to come back to the base and do stuff. Okay, so let's see. We've made them all. Yay. We have... I'm trying to find oil. We need oil. Oh, Greetings. Right. Do you have time to talk about the way of the tentacle? <laughs> so, okay. Oh my that's god, not... that's a huge colony over there. Three different colonies. Hi. <laughs> you guys, do you have time to talk about the way of the tentacle? <laughs> Please? Oh I'm desperate god. here. None of you guys want to talk about <laughs> the way of the tentacle. religion. Oh my god. That's oh, so funny. One. Oh my god. Another colony. You looked so cute standing by that tree over there trying to talk to them. Hey, do you guys have time to talk about the way of the tentacle? <laughs> no? No? <sighs> Alright, well I'm not, I will... I'm not even going to bother visit the guys in the south because they clearly seem in, uninterested in the way of the tentacle. I'm hugely disappointed in these biters. <clears throat> that sounds pretty rough. Alright, I'm going to take some power poles out in a direction like north and see if there's oil out there. Uh, and just put a radar down. You should stop using radars. You have me. 
Hmm? No, well, <laughs> well, you say that, but technically, you could be a Viking raider. Isn't that like part of your whole cultural heritage thing? Hats with horns and all that? Might be for anyone who is actually uh, of Viking descendancy, but I'm not, so. Oh, I thought that being Norwegian just automatically made you into an honorary Viking, whether you liked it or not. Is that not true? No, it doesn't work that way. Oh, okay. Is there, like, a particular way it does? Because I want to be a Viking one day. I mean, that's kind of cool. I mean, like, yeah. Carrying around an axe, borrowing people's stuff, that kind of thing. Well, carrying around an axe in the streets would probably get you rested, but... Uh... It'll get me a rest? How nice. I like resting. It's good stuff. A rest dead. <laughs> I'm going to walk back to the base. Woohoo! Oh my god, There's it is a long walk back to the base. Hmm? There is no oil down here, at least. Well, that's inconvenient. All right, well, I set Do up you a guys have time to talk about the way of the tentacles? <laughs> Please? No. I, <sighs> I wonder, like, when one of those colonies says yes, I really want to hear what you have to say, because I'm curious about the way of the tentacle myself. You know? I have a whole script prepared for that, but uh, they have been <laughs> uninterested so far. How do you know? Have you been able to like discern what they're saying? They're making um, noises at me that I'm um, currently unable to describe, and the noises <laughs> seem generally very uninterested. And then they show me their behinds and walk away from me. So, oh, well then, they don't seem that interested. Oh, oops, no. Yeah. Shift. There we go. Well, sure, there must be some oil here somewhere. Maybe. I think there are interested biters as well. But you just haven't discovered the way to communicate with them the best way. I'm pretty sure that that's a thing. Could be. I found another field of uranium, but... Uh... Maybe we could use uranium instead of oil and just go glowy. You know? There's a whole lot of trees out here, though. What? The enemy? I don't think that's yes. okay. That's rough times. Wow, you've explored a lot. Oh my gosh. Oh, hey, look what I found. <laughs> oh, it's have, in the middle of the like, fighter colony as you've well. You've gone through the entire world in the south, and I put one raider up. <laughs> and it's the one colony. You didn't bother asking if they would trade you some oil for religion you know how come that's the thing you didn't, I didn't ask them. visit i didn't visit that part <laughs> hello do you guys have time to talk about the way of the tentacle oh uh, you guys you do you guys might actually be interested in talking about the way of the tentacle oh, yes how he's, can you tell no he's shaking his head no but look at those giant tentacles in the ground yeah, I, that was the ones that I was referring to, but the one that I was talking to, he was just shaking his head. <laughs> they do look like they're quivering a bit. Oh, man. They're made, they may be scared of the new religion. You might have to, like, just tell them of its wonderful ways and how it's going to make their life better and all that stuff. I don't want them to <clears throat> get aggressive. No, we don't. Well, you no. Know, Why not, would they get aggressive, not, though? If they're not interested, it might be annoying to start listening to someone proselytizing in the way of the tentacle. Speaking of which, uh, you should probably proselytize, a, proselytize us out of the episode. <laughs> okay. Well, with blessings of the tentacle, thank you so very much for joining us. Take care of yourselves and each other, and we'll see you next time. Yek to 